students this is mock test based on crop production so this is very important mock test and most of the questions are asked from crop cultivation so here first question is a koichi disease of rice is caused due to toxicity of and this a koichi disease is also known as bronze disease and it caused due to toxicity of sulfide and sulfide are responsible high concentration of sulfide are responsible for rotting of root system and also cause bronzing of leaves so here sulfide so it is hydrogen sulfide so excess of hydrogen sulfide cause this disease a koichi disease in rice this is very important question norin tan gene of wheat is native so this gene norin tan was responsible for the high production of wheat and this gene is native of japan so uh, this gene caused revolution in the development of high yielding short varieties of wheat karnal bunt in wheat affects this is disease and grain is affected by karnal bunt and grain become black then alternate wetting and drying irrigation practice awd alternate wetting and drying water is given and soil is allowed to dry and when tracks develop then again irrigation water is given so this is the method alternate wetting and drying and it is suggested for rice because huge quantity of water is required for rice cultivation so it is not suggested to keep standing water for the whole crop season water stagnation is there then water is allowed to deplete when there is a disappearance of water cracks develop then irrigation is given shoot fly attack in sorghum so this is very important insect in sorghum shoot fly and it attack at seedling stage when the crop is uh of 10 days or 15 days then this sorghum shoot fly attack at the plant and cut the plant so this is very dangerous insect in sorghum bajra is popularly known as pearl millet yes it is known as pearl millet it is also known as cattail millet and it is also known as bulrush millet so all of these optimum time for sowing of spring maize maize is grown in our country in all season kharif season ravi season as well as in spring season and in spring season it is grown in north west plain of india uttar pradesh punjab haryana where irrigation facilities are available and the optimum time is first to second week of february so it should be grown of first to 15 february or we can say it is first fortnight of february then magnesium deficiency in wheat is often confused with so magnesium deficiency is yellowing of leaves and veins remain green so and this uh, type of deficiency is similar to iron deficiency but there is a difference that in iron deficiency only principal vein remain green and a whole leaf become white but in case of magnesium all the leaves remain green so this is the difference but there is a confusion in iron deficiency and magnesium deficiency suitable crop for saline area in saline area there is a problem of excess salt so those crop which can tolerate the salt can be grown successfully in saline area so barley is a very good crop which can be grown in saline area cotton also can be grown and sugar beet these crop are tolerant to high salinity that's why these crop can be grown cotton barley and sugar beet so here answer is all of these so remember these three crop name which can be grown in saline area then pasculum sprobiculatum these are minor millets and uh, this pasculum is kodo millet china is proso millet also known as proso millet and name is panicum miliaceum panicum miliaceum 
and this ragi is ellucine kurakana ellucine kurakana and also known as mandua and foxtail millet is citeria italica citeria italica so these are minor millets and generally name botanical name are as so we should remember the name of these millets and pasculum is kodo rainfall during flowering in pulses has which effect positive effect negative effect no effect or significant means high positive effect actually uh, pulse crops are of indeterminate nature means their vegetative growth remain continuous even after flowering so if there is a moisture availability means irrigation is there or rainfall is there then this water is utilized for vegetative growth so energy is diverted for the production of uh, shoot for, uh, for the production of leaves and dry matter partitioning or translocation towards flower and developing pod is very poor so there is problem of flower shedding pod uh, shedding so that's why if uh, vegetative growth remain continue grain yield will be less so the condition which favor high vegetative growth definitely reduce grain yield so here rainfall is during flowering period so this water will be utilized in pulse crop for vegetative growth for the leaf production rather than a uh, pod development of flower production so that's why there will be negative impact so this is the reason that in pulse crop whether whether it is a moong bean or uh, urd bean or chickpea pigeon pea uh, in all the pulse crop irrigation is not given at flowering stage it is given at pre flowering stage so nipping in chickpea is practiced to stop the apical growth and the lateral branching stop the apical growth and promote the lateral branching different uh, uh, types of options are given in this question and nipping is very important practice and the apical bud is removed so that apical growth is checked and there is more lateral branching because pods comes on branch so whenever nipping is done it means apical growth is checked more branches more flower more pod so here it uh, stop the apical growth it stop the apical growth and promotes the lateral branching if branching is more then there will be uh, for example uh, this is uh, you can say like uh, suppose this is the apical growth okay and this apical buds are removed then more branch will develop from this side this side so here will be more availability of uh, flower and pod that's why in, uh, yield is increases so nipping stop the apical growth because uh, these apical buds are removed and promotes the lateral branching soya bean seed contains total amount of protein and oil such type of questions are very confusing because we always remember that protein content in soya bean is 40% so this is in our mind that uh, 40 40% protein is in soya bean seed and in such type of question we get confused and uh, select the answer in hurry 40% but read the question carefully total amount of protein plus oil so protein and oil and oil is 20% so what is the total amount 60% so here answer is 60% not 40% seed rate of moong bean for summer season here season is summer so what is the seed rate and this 15 to 20 kg for kharif season where spacing is about 45 cm and 25 to 30 in summer season or ravi season summer is spring season where spacing is kept 30 cm so seed rate is about 25 to 
ब्लैक ग्राम इज बेस्ट सुटेड टू राइस फेलो ड्यूरिंग रवि इन मीन्स राइस फेलो मीन्स ब्लैक ग्राम मीन उर्द इज ग्रोन आफ्टर राइस सो दिस इज द क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इट मीन्स राइस ब्लैक ग्राम उर्द दिस इज द क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम एंड वेयर दिस क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इज फॉलोड सो ब्लैक ग्राम रिक्वायर हाई टेम्परेचर कॉम्परेटिवली एंड दिस इज द रवि सीजन एंड दिस इज द खरीफ सीजन सो इट मीन्स इन द रीजन वेयर रवि रिमेन्स हॉटर दैन ब्लैक ग्राम कैन बी ग्रोन सक्सेसफुली so in this zone in ravi season temperature is low temperature is low so these area are not suitable for black gram cultivation but in southern parts uh, karnataka andhra pradesh temperature is high comparatively more as compared to north india and black gram can be grown successfully so this is the concept based question then toria should be sown from Toria is a Brassica campestris variety. Toria. There are different uh, species in Brassica campestris. Uh, yellow sarso, brown sarso, Toria, and there is another group, uh, mustard, Brassica juncia. So there are several type of uh, oil seed crop in rap seed and mustard. And Toria is sown very early, and it is mid to the last week of September. and this is not the time this is a time for yellow sarso brown sarso mustard so on among all the rap seed mustard crop toria is sown the first and it is mid to the last week of september at this time temperature is comparatively higher as compared to october november and this temperature range is suitable for its germination emergence and growth which one is not true for sunflower hybrids sunflower hybrids have high yield and comparison is with op open pollinated varieties opb so superior in seed filling ability it is correct that's why their seed yield is high and comparatively less sap fertile more tolerant to disease and insect pest and higher drought tolerance but the, if you look this comparatively less sap fertile it is not true it is wrong so here it is asked about not true and there may be uh, confusion that the drought tolerance so this also depends upon the genotypic structure but uh, such type of questions are confusing when we compare with the hybrids and open open pollinated varieties so this may be the correct uh, not a character of high drought tolerance and hot tolerance is in opb so here this may be the correct con uh, answer so such type uh, of answers are confusing because first is not characteristics then hybrid versus opb so select the option very carefully so higher drought tolerance is not characteristics of hybrids because their gene base is narrow while in case of open pollinated varieties uh, their gene base number of genes means uh, variety involves are more so that's why they can uh, open pollinated variety can tolerate drought uh, more as compared to hybrids so here the, this is the option higher drought tolerance is not characteristics of hybrid then beginning of pegs in ground nut designated as so reproductive stages are in any crops are designated as r so this r1 is beginning of bloom this r2 is beginning of peg and r3 is a uh, development of peg it is development of peg so R2 is beginning of peg and this is the beginning of pods and R5 if look the R5 it is the full pod or uh, uh, and similarly 
R5 and R6. So here R2 is beginning of pegging and deployment of pegging is R3. Flex fiber is extracted from, so it is extracted from bast that is mainly of uh, phloem. So flex fiber is a phloem part, bast part which is extracted from stem portion. Then carthamine is a natural red pigment and it is derived from safflower. Carthamus tinctorius is botanical name of safflower, so easily we can identify which pigment is derived from safflower. Carthamine and it is a similar name, uh, similarity with its botanical name Carthamus tinctorius. The correct sequence of operation in jute is, so first operation is ratting, it is allowed for micro decomposition, then fiber is extracted that is stripping, then washing to remove the impurity. So it is the correct sequence, ratting, stripping, removing means uh, fiber, then washing to remove impurities. Then sugar beet root contain high concentration. So sugar beet is used for production of sugar and it contains sucrose. Similarly in case of sugar cane, sugar cane also contain sucrose and this sucrose is used for commercial sugar production. So that's why the sugar which is available in market is sucrose, whether it is derived from sugar beet or sugar cane. The weight of tuber seed of potato should be, it is 30 to 40 grams. So tuber weight which is used for sowing of potato, its weight should be about 30 to 40 gram. Leaves of tobacco are harvested from and this harvesting uh, operation is known as priming. When leaves become uh, mature then they are harvested and this process is known as priming and it is started from bottom to top means lower leaves are harvested first then middle then top most leaves are harvested. Last question, in tobacco, late topping nor, uh, normally result in poor yield. So first understand what is topping. Topping is same as in case of nipping in chickpea. The auxiliary buds are uh, removed. The top portion is removed so that more branches, uh, yeah, suckers, then suckers develop. But these suckers are checked by the spray of chemical. So there is no further growth, apical growth is checked so that leaves are more, leaves expansion is more and uh, leaf have uh, more dry weight and leaf quality is improved. So when we remove the apical part, top part, side branches develop and this is desirable in case of pulses because there will be more flowering and this operation is known as nipping. But in case of tobacco, if lateral branches are more, then quality may be deteriorated. So these lateral branches or suckers are reduced by the spray of chemical. So objective of topping is to improve the quality of the leaves. So here, if topping is done late, then leaf quality is reduced. So reduced leaf expansion, so leaf yield is low. So this was the mock test about the crop production. Thank you very much.